Good evening and welcome to Up Close. This week we'll show you two sides of the music world, the renowned and the unknown. In our first segment, we highlight Patti Page on her return visit to perform with the Oklahoma City Philharmonic. At the other end of the spectrum is the House Levelers, a New Orleans-based bar band in town for a night. House Levelers. I'm Sterling. I'm Grayson. I'm Pete. I'm from New Orleans. Okay. Uh, how would you characterize the type of music well, you we play? Or? We have a song, our own name we came up with. Huh? Okay, you see it? Alright, good. Uh, we uh, had to invent our own name because <clears throat> we have kind of different kind of music. It's called thrash folk. Uh, that kind of came about when we were playing. Some guy kind of described us as that, so we kind of kept that. It's a strange kind of hybrid sound, like uh, we do. Uh, what was that? That quote? The uh, fucking if uh, if. Uh, oh, if the violent femmes and REM got in a car crash, and Dashford Brock came to the rescue. That would be our sound. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it, it's good. We have a acoustic guitar, and bass, and a stripped down drum kit. So. You know, we don't have like electric guitar. A lot of like, we're not like a real guitar but it, band. But it still has the sense. energy. It has the energy yeah. of an uh, electric band, but it's it's acoustic. We're it's, real. We're real energetic. We you know jump around, and fall over, and throw up. Not we. <laughs> <laughs> Knock over equipment, stuff like that. The owner said that. So well, we've got a funky little band from Louisiana coming in. <laughs> that funky little band, yeah, all right. I mean, we're kind of funky. Yeah, we, we are. Some we got funk, some. We've got you know, some funky. We're not very good at it, though. <laughs> yeah, we are. We're just, I mean, we aren't the Neville Brothers, but you know, we, we can. We can. We aren't even the Royal Crescent Mom. Uh, so, we, uh, how much cover as opposed to original material? We do. We see. We start off playing originals. Uh, we have like about 60 originals, and then. It was started, we started playing out, and we, you know, people do want to hear covers, and you kind of have to get that in there to, uh, to get people to, you know, un, you know, kind of understand your yeah. the, your music. Right. So, so they can get familiar. I mean, we have, yeah, we have covers that are kind of similar to our music, like, but they, it kind of covers a wide range. They, they become that way after we play them. Yeah. Yeah. Name, name a few covers. Uh, yeah. KKK took my baby away by the Ramones, uh, Blister in the Sun, Violent Femmes, Squeeze by Velvet Underground, and uh, uh, Violent Femmes. Some, uh, what, what's uh, uh, Jerry Jeff Walker? Uh, yeah, that Up Against the Wall Redneck, which we're not sure if we're going to play. I mean, I don't know, we're in Oklahoma, and he mentions it, but it's like, I'm afraid to, I'm afraid to do it, you know, because like, if they, if they don't, Shoot. well, no, I think Norman's all right for that. Okay, so I don't want to hold back if you go to Stillwater. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, I don't want to get beat up or anything in a foreign land. I mean, I can deal with it if we get beat up in New Orleans. If we get beat up here, man, I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's go one at a time. What's, what's the best thing about being on the road in a rock and roll band? Or a band? Anyway, music. Showers. <laughs> <laughs> I like showers because uh, we don't have a shower in our house and uh, showers are good. It's so much better than sitting in the tub and doing the old hosing off deal. Uh, showers and, and cheap beer, I would say, is for me. I like uh, meeting people and having strange things like this happen. You know, I like. Uh, I like playing in different places because when we play in New Orleans, there's only like two or three places where we can play. If we go on the road, you know, we play in different spaces, and it's a lot, it's a lot different, but it's a lot more fun because you never know what's going to happen. Do you get different reactions in different places? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Are yeah. there certain places that uh, your your music is more accepted in? Than other? We just well, got started. Yeah. I mean, we'll pre like, I guess we we played at this uh, this club in College Station, you know, where Texas A&M is. And it was kind of a blues bar, and the first band that played was kind of like this laid-back white blues band. And, uh, and we went on after them, and pretty much everyone left. 
because we're we're not laid back at all. And, uh, <laughs> but the people who stayed were totally totally into it. Yeah, do the thing that guy did. Yeah, all okay, right, put the camera guy. on him. All right, check it out. What this guy did. And, uh, it's gonna take some Ron, time. All right, Ron, come on. If you ever see this. Come on. Ron, if you're out there, I Ron, hope you've got is, better. This, this to you, Ron. All right, after every song, this guy Ron would just do this like total, you know, wrestlers movie. He'd go, kick, 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 kick. Yeah. Every song. Every song. <laughs> didn't fail. Could, didn't he, matter what we did. He loved he us. Did. He wouldn't leave. We gave him a, a, an autographed uh, picture, 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 and uh, he was like <laughs> knocking on the door, going, "Bye, bye." And it was like, <laughs> funny man. I hope he so, kicked I mean, that heroin habit. I'd rather, I'd rather, <laughs> I know, I'd rather play to a crowd of ten who were just totally freaking yeah. over us than you know a whole house full of deadbeats. But I mean, I mean, so obviously. Best thing on the road? Um, <laughs> well, I don't know, just I guess the same thing of going to different places and uh, and being able to see uh, waterfalls like the one we just saw. Turner there. Falls, Oklahoma. Turner Falls, gorgeous. Oklahoma, yeah, it's real pretty. And um, and of course, you know, being in the same car with these guys, you know, it's like just just the thrill. <laughs> A little bitty car. <laughs> We're on our way to getting our van. Yeah, but uh, at the moment, I have a, like a Honda car, and we're pulling at this teeny little U-Haul trailer. We don't have that much stuff because you know we don't have the PA and we got a small one. Right, yeah. so it's not that big of a deal, but it's kind of a pain in the ass. So we're hoping to get a trailer, or uh, um, <laughs> thank you, a van soon. So. Yeah. <laughs> It's a kick, man. It's definitely a kick. When we were in Austin, this is a story I tell everybody back home. When we were in Austin, we were sitting in a bar, and uh, we were kind of tired because we'd been traveling a while, and a little bit drunk because we'd been drinking a little bit, and uh, Pete's just sitting at the bar, and he just starts laughing. And he's just giggling his head off. <laughs> and all of a sudden, we're like, Pete, what's so funny? He's like, I'm just having so much fun. So that's what, that's what the road's like, you know? Good time. Yeah, you don't know why. We've been drinking a lot too. So <laughs> <laughs> I hope that doesn't make sense.